Hello there and welcome to my next video, Killzone Shadow 4 Multiplayer. This one video is going to focus on trick spawns. Now from my previous Some Things You May Know video, I did mention trick spawns. And with this video I'd like to show you some more trick spawn locations and just a discussion about trick, trick spawns in general. Uh, if you haven't seen my original video, you can check the link in the description or click on the icon on the left of the video. But if you've already watched it, uh, let's get started in some trick spawns. So to begin with, uh, we're in the factory, and just while I'm on my way to the location of the trick spawn, uh, I just want to kind of get the definition of a trick spawn. Now, in my opinion, a trick spawn is a spawn beacon which is placed in a position that the enemy wouldn't easily find, and if the enemy sees an ally spawn off it, they wouldn't necessarily know where the beacon is. So on the factory, you can come on the uh, VSA side, and you can place the spawn beacon on this pipe. Now, as you can see, I place the spawn beacon relatively close to where the, uh, the pipe finishes before it goes downwards. So I really should have probably showed you this in reverse, but essentially it's up the top, and when you spawn off it, you'll end up down on the ground. <laughs> Took a while there. Oh, end up on the ground now. It would be a lot better if I did it in reverse, so you can essentially spawn over there. But as you can see, the enemy would see you spawn down the bottom. It wouldn't necessarily look up. Now I'm just going to deconstruct the, the spawn beacon to show you why I call it the tri-pipe tri spawn. Uh, now throughout this video you're probably going to see the bot following me around. Again, I'm playing in offline bot zone. I've even set the bot to easy, but god damn it, it just still runs around and tries to find me. Okay, so my spawn beacon's ready now. I go a little bit further up the pipe, just on the other side of where the steam comes out, as you can see there. I'll just go around the corner and show you. So it's a little bit further up. Um, I wouldn't say enemies ne would necessarily look up there. Most of the time they'll be too focused on what's in front of them. Um, most of the time people don't really look up or down. They'll look essentially forward, left and right, and behind. Now, as while this pipe spawn beacon's a little bit further ahead, you notice I can spawn even further along and straight underneath. So it's very good uh, to spawn there where the objectives are. And as you can see when you're running, you're not really looking up. It'd be very easy to let this one slip. Now I'm just going to deconstruct it again to show you that you could even put a third location on this pipe. really do like the sound effects. If you ever have a chance, just go to Offline Bot Zone. Um, it's so quiet and you can really hear the sound effects. Now, as you can see, I put the um, spawn beacon a bit closer to that platform. And you can probably guess where I'm going to spawn off it. So I'll just suicide again. I'm glad these stats don't count because the amount of suicides I do is insane. So as it, the timer comes down, you'll notice that I now spawn on the up, upper platform. So yeah, the, depending on where you place the spawn beacon on this pipe, it really depends on where you're going to spawn. And that's the tri-pipe spawn on the factory. Okay, what's next? Oh yes, the on the bridge. Now, while I'm on my way to the location, just want to kind of, you know, just stress, don't do trick spawns just for the sake of strict trick spawns. Now, I'll go into further details along this particular example. Now, this is on the station, and I call it the bridge spawn. Now, these little connecting bridge, there's two of them in this map, but I'll just show you the one on the VSA side. Now, I'm going to suicide to show you how you can spawn on it. But yeah, don't just do trick spawns for the sake of doing trick spawns. Um, if it's going to take your allies away from the objective or put them in the line of fire, you know, just don't do it. Um, I'm sure you guys can work it out. Now, as you can see, I spawned upper, up above on the, on the path rather than on the bridge. And as you can see from looking this way, if someone was walking along here, they won't see the spawn beacon down there. Now, obviously, if they're aware of that spawn, be um, that trick spawn, they might have a quick look, but it's all good. Now, I'm just going to show you again because similar to the the previous trick spawn, you know, the location of the spawn beacon in relative to where it is will definitely show. You now, the um, will definitely show you where you where you spawn. Now, you can probably see the bot in the background, he's waiting for me. But as you can see with the trick spawn, I put it 
more on this on the VSA side of the bridge so therefore I've, I spawned on this side now I'm just gonna go and get this bot and I'll just watch what happens that bot is on easy God damn it. <laughs> now we are back at the penthouse uh, that on the previous video I showed you where one was but there are several on this map and I just want to go through a couple, uh, two more. So I apologize if you're already aware of these trick spawns. Um, some of the experienced players probably are, so I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I just had to take revenge on the spot. It took me a while to find him. I couldn't actually see where he was. Um, looked up at the map, saw where he was. Okay, so as you can see, when I spawned at the base camp, I went around the sides to the bar and you can just drop down here on the elevator go two platforms down drop the spawn beacon beacon has been dropped now of course i will suicide to show you what happens when you do spawn on it but the pent the penthouse is a great level for trick spawns i've counted a good number of them so i'm not going to show you all you, them all but i'm going to show you these ones now while you're waiting on this particular spawn beacon you can't really look around you can look down to see if anyone's down there but as you can see you actually spawn on the ground anyway now you can see my spawn beacon up there but enemies who go through there wouldn't necessarily look up and it puts you right next to the objective uh, for search and destroy and even capture and connect this is actually the fourth time I'm recording this particular piece of audio I stuffed up so many times but anyway we're back on the penthouse we're going towards the Hogan side of the map uh, towards the cinema. Now in here you notice the flight of stairs with all the chairs. Now the, the positioning of this spawn beacon is definitely key. So you have to go between the third and fourth chair. Place the spawn beacon and face the wall. Beacon deployed. I'm just going to suicide of course to show you where it is. Now when spawning on this particular trick spawn, <laughs> nice ragdoll physics there, it's always good to watch. Now when, when spawning, you can definitely have a look around here, see if there's any enemies going through the cinema. But as you can see, you spawn on the other side of the wall, on the stairs. So you can quickly race down to this objective if you need to. Now you have to be careful if you're playing VSA like I am, because if you go up the stairs the wrong way, you can definitely get, get taken out by the base turret instantly. Now, as I said earlier, the positioning of this is key. And I'm not sure if a lot of people do know about this or they just don't know about it, but they use put spawn beacons up here. And I'm just going to show you what always happens. And I mean, it's a bit unnecessary showing you this because you can probably guess what happens. But if you don't put it in between the third and fourth chair, the spawn beacon essentially is, won't work and you just spawn on the stairs there. So yeah, make the between the third and fourth chair facing the wall. Now, I just kept this in here because I got distracted by something on my phone and I was um, just watching and then someone appeared on the left and good old bot. Now, as I said earlier, I'm playing it on easy so you probably can't see me. But I just definitely decided to take him on again. I'm just going to deconstruct the beacon and uh, I'll just let you watch what happens. <laughs> oh, I love bots. Now for the final trick spawn for this video, we're going to the park. Just going to speed it up here. Now, again, it, it's very. I'm very uncertain of whether or not many people know about these particular trick spawns or not. Um, I don't see many people using them. I do play a lot of Killzone, as you might be able to tell. Um, but I'm yet to see. I also want to know that 30 frames per second. I wonder if, if there's that lock in offline bot zone. If you if you know, d definitely leave a comment and let me know. Um, or is it 30 frames per second just strictly for the single? Now, um, hopefully everyone knows about this little little shortcut through here. Now the park is 
one of my one of my favorite levels. I love all the levels, but I love the path. It's 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 beautiful, just like the forest is now. A lot of people will know about placing the spawn beacons in this little garden here. It's a nice little location. Um, I think the bot comes up, and there's the last one. But I'm more interested in, in this little spiral here. You can place it in any four corners, but I'm just going to put it in this one. Now, anyone who's um, finished the single player campaign definitely knows about this map and that little area there. Uh, I won't go into that though. But as you can see, I put it in that little little hidey hole there. Spawn in the middle, and you can even have a look down, make sure no enemies are running through. Again, like a lot of people might know about this, but I haven't seen it through my my travels through the game and you can actually spawn outside the spiral so again if um like the enemies see you spawning there and they run across there and they'll be like where's, where's that spawn beacon unless they actually s s specifically look in there they won't necessarily find it so it's, a, it's another good location and that is the end I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully learned a couple of things now I'd love to do more of these videos and I I have what I think is a good couple of ideas for some more videos and I'm even near completion on part two of uh, things you may not know. I can't guarantee when they will be out due to other commitments but it would definitely it would definitely give me more incentive to complete it if you guys could you know maybe either leave a like or a dislike on the video depending on your opinion. Even don't be afraid to comment, uh, do the whole share or subscri subscribe. Now I'm not going to now, I'm still going to look at doing more videos, even if you don't do any of that, but I definitely appreciate the support. And that's it from me, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.